Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, April 24th, I think. I don't know. It'll be in the title. <laughs> I just started, and I, I never remember, right? Uh, in your first row, you have this emotions card. It says, Foc focused on your love life instead of work. Careful not to allow work to interfere with love or the other way around. It's kind of weird, because I don't think this is something that... Um, it's like, this isn't something you're dealing with right now. <laughs> That's literally what's popping into my head. I actually think you're very focused on work at this, you know, at this moment, Virgo. Um, I kind of feel like maybe you have a story of kind of uh, allowing love to get in the way of work or something like that. And again, not a criticism. We've all done it, right? And so, you know, I, I just kind of like feel that for some of you. And, you know, I kind of feel this could be saying that after a difficult ending, there's clearly like a new connection coming in for you if you don't already have love. For some of you, I feel like it's almost like you already have love. Um, so again, if you already have love, I feel like there could be a very strong, um, you know, it, it's almost like it's kind of uh, developing into something more. I kind of have the words that like, again, if you already have love that you, you the two of you, it's almost like you're getting your lives in sync or something like that. That's like what's popping into my head. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a message like that before, but if you already have a person, that could be uh, what's going on here. I also feel if you are just building a community in general, you have the Three of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles is amazing uh, for community and working together with other people and stuff like that. This You have this end card here, and it says transmute on it, but it has a B on it. And bees are known for, you know, being message messengers of like community and things like that. So again, if you're working together with other people or literally if you're building a community like online or something like that, I feel like you could be seeing a lot more success with this Three of Pentacles. You have the High Priestess and... Um, you know, the high priestess, she kind of represents trusting your intuition, of course, but needing to trust your intuition, uh, needing to listen to, you know, the words that you use on yourself as well, like deep down inside. So <laughs> I kind of I kind of feel that here where uh, there's something here about like needing to listen to the words inside of you. That's really what keeps popping into my head. So uh, it's almost like I wonder if you have, it's like there's something maybe that's more fun or that would be more fun for you to do in work or business, but maybe it doesn't make sense with the real world, right, Virgo? And, you know, I kind of feel like this is saying move in that direction, move in the direction of something that might be more of like words inside of yourself. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully this is gonna make sense in a minute. Let's keep it going. You have this uh, Queen of Pentacles and so, I feel like you have the resources necessary to be very successful at this time. You have a lot of earth here. By the way, if you're looking for love, it definitely could be an earth sign. You have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus right here. Uh, could also be a fire sign, could be a Pisces. You know, take it how it resonates. You always get these earth signs and a fire sign showing up in your reading. So these could just be people that are interested in you as well. Uh, but let's see where this first row here is going. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Swords twice. Some of you feel backstabbed by a community or, you know, by a group of people or something like that. You know, if you feel like you are being, you know, ostr I don't think you're being ostr ostracized. Uh, I feel like maybe you have been in the past, right? Um, it's almost like this is leading to your true community. <laughs> so again, if you feel like you've been kicked out of a community or if you feel like people in a community of people don't understand you, I feel like some of you, yeah, this was probably a difficult ending, probably hurt. Um, I feel like it's something that's already happened. And you know, I, I do feel there's still some fears about repeating a cycle. We go down to the nine of swords here, which could represent fears of you know having something repeat again. Uh, if this isn't a community, I do feel like you could be fearing that you're wrong about a person. So, and what's popping into my head is you might be interested in a person here, Virgo. Maybe you work with this person or they're part of a community that you belong to, clearly, uh, based off this reading. <laughs> and um, you could be fearing, it's almost like this right here. See the difference? You have the Knight of Wands, which is considered like player energy, and you have the King of Pentacles, which is extremely stable. But it's almost like I'm seeing that as one person. And it's like you're trying to, it's like you don't want to be wrong again, is that's really what I'm getting here. Uh, with the high priestess, you have the seven of swords there. I mean, lying, cheating, stealing, there you go. 
So, you know, I, I definitely feel that for some of you, there could have been lying, cheating, stealing in a situation. Maybe someone wasn't completely honest with their intentions. And it's like, you don't want to repeat that again. Uh, for others, um, for all of you, really, Virgo, I think it is a, a great time for you, Earth signs, to be extra tactical. Like, um, you know, if you're starting a business, if you're thinking about changing your health or whatever, it's like the Seven of Swords is a card of tactics. It says there might be like a better way to do what you want instead of like charging right at it, instead of facing it head on. So it kind of encourages you to like look for other ways of doing things or to come up with better ways to, you know, start a business or to, you know, improve your health or whatever. It just says be tactical. And the High Priestess is like trust your intuition. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Sun. So best card in the deck. Definitely a lot of happiness. There's also clearly a focus on your finances now. Uh, having the sun on the queen of pentacles, I kind of feel like you're going in the right direction. It's like whatever you're thinking about doing in work or business, any changes you want to make, um, you know, there's a lot of success coming in for you here. Uh, you know, I can see that you have this uh, thread card right here and I'll show you that card in a minute, but that thread card, it literally just says that you're kind of like weaving two things together. I feel like there's a new understanding in that third row that we're going to talk about um, where it's like you're connecting to, you know, maybe some experiences you have, have had to like a business where you could be like you realizing how the experiences are what provides value to the business, right? Um, you could be, this could be in love as well. It's like you could be realizing that you're actually attracting a very good person and your past experiences are kind of like what adds to it. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, next, you have this direction card. This is showing up. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, what you need to know right now. It says uncharted territories, aligning new experiences, finding your way, inner compass. I literally said something about your words inside. I kept getting that word <laughs> on the high priestess. It is a card of intuition, but it was like very specifically popping into my head as your words inside or something like that. So clearly, I feel like you need to trust your own inner guidance. We can see that as well uh, right here with the uh, hermit, which is your card, Virgo. You're showing up as a very strong, in a very strong position there as the uh, hermit, but the hermit also says that you need to trust your inner guidance system. You need to kind of trust your inner light. I also feel like you need to trust all the lessons that you have learned because he's been through something very difficult and now he's climbed to the top of the mountain and he's shining his inner light. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, there's like, you have a lot of inner wisdom that you've probably gained from a lot of like backstabbing type situations or, you know, uh, uh, challenging situations and communities that you've belonged to. This could be where you live, but it could also literally be like a community or a group of people. And I feel like it's all adding up to something new, different, <laughs> something like that resonates with you, something much better, you know, something that has a certain level of ease to it as well. You have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands, a card of expansion and growth. And it's also my card that says, like, what are you waiting for? You can see that he's standing there at the top of those, at that mountain there. And he's kind of like just waiting for opportunity or he needs to kind of take the opportunity to kind of get onto one of those boats there. And so I feel for some of you, this is kind of like encouraging you to take a leap of faith and to go on some sort of new adventure. You know, this is normally a card of your ships coming in, which actually I do see because you have that thread card. It's like everything is adding up, all the stories that you've had to tell yourself or all the stories about yourself, like everything is connecting. But I also, again, I do feel like there are some big opportunities coming in for you where it's like you're going to be going out. I really see a lot of blessings for you and like outside of your comfort zone, which again, we see that here actually as well with the Ten of Swords. You can see that he's making this symbol with his hand, which represents kind of a blessing it, you know, it's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making as well. So it's like there are some blessings coming in, but uh, probably outside of a comfort zone or, you know, by leaving something here, whatever you're leaving. Uh, let's see what is going on here. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, I mean, really? <laughs> you know, a big new opportunity coming in for you. Uh, you know, you have two, a lot of cards of potential. A lot of people I've noticed have just been uh, sim quite simply getting these cards of potential showing up in their readings. I do believe we're, we are in a time of potential as well, where it's like just potential. You know, what we can accomplish is pretty open-ended, but we, you know, we kind of have to put the work in to make something happen. So don't be afraid to put the work in. With the Hermit, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, being too cautious, needing to take the risk. So again, I feel like some of you need to take a risk at this time with the Knight of Pentacles. 
With the Three of Wands, you have the Hangman. The Hangman, again, what are you waiting for? Right next to it, you have the Sun. I'll actually show you down here. So you have the Sun and the Hangman. The Hangman has put himself in Hangman mode so that he can gain enlightenment. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're, you are, you have gained enlightenment, you have gained the answers, and freedom is right here. <laughs> the four wands can represent marriage, but the four wands uh, can just represent freedom or being set free. Because, um, you know, these people really have already been married on the four of wands. So again, it is a card of marriage, but really I look at it as a card of completion. It's kind of like a finish line card. Uh, next, you have this thread card. Uh, this is it from the Threads of Fate Oracle deck, by the way, which is really awesome. It's animated. If you want more information about this, uh, I have a link down below because Threads of Fate is uh, launching three new decks. I do have a business relationship with Threads of Fate, so full disclosure, but this is not sponsored necessarily by Threads of Fate. That, that was a mouthful. But again, if you're interested in these awesome decks, there you go. And again, full disclosure, I have a business relationship with Threads of Fate. But um, you know, what I would say here is that this thread card can represent kind of weaving things together and connecting things. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you could be connecting your old story or just a combination of old stories in your life together. And um, it looks like these things are, you know, just all adding up to something like much better in your life. And that's really what I see here. You even have the judgment card, the five of cups and the four of wands. Uh, judgment really tells me that you could be waking up to a new opportunity. Um, you could be waking up to a new direction of life, of course. You see these people are rising up out of their coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. Any change that you're making, you have this card uh, from the Threads of Fate uh, Oracle as well in your next row, and it says transmute on it. It's like you're taking your old life and turning it into something new, a new life. And, you know, I feel like you're kind of waking up to a better direction. Maybe it's been a little rocky. I feel like I said this to you in your last reading as well. It's like, maybe, you know, you're going to make mistakes <laughs> and that's okay. I'm a big fan of making mistakes. And, um, you know, to me, we learn from those mistakes and also people who don't make mistakes pretty much get nowhere in life. It's like, you know, the only people who don't make mistakes are bubble boy. So if you want to live in a bubble, then don't make mistakes. And there you go. But what I would say is I feel that there could be a lot of success, you know, and I feel like you need to pay attention to those mistakes. It's almost like, you know, if you're moving in a new direction in your business, maybe, you, you know, uh, try YouTube and maybe you make a mistake on YouTube. It's like, well, just go the other direction. Just try something else. Same thing in love. It's like maybe you meet a new type of person and uh, maybe you revert to old behaviors or something. And I feel like this is saying it won't be the end of the world. Just, you know, correct it. Don't just, most people just keep digging a deeper hole. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I, I know that's not what the Five of Cups represents, but again, I read intuitively. And I feel like the Five of Cups is saying, you know, that yeah, there will be mistakes that you make in this new direction, but just don't keep digging the deeper hole. And if you do that, you're going to be very successful and just course correct. You know, it's like it's perfectly acceptable to be like, oh, I screwed up. I need to, you know, kind of make this change. And if you're dealing with a person here, you could even say that to a person. Be like, sorry, I screwed up. You know, let me just make the change. And I think that'll solve all your problems. You have the Four of Wands, Four of Wands, Carter Commitment. I do see marriage here, but it, it doesn't seem like a major focus at this time again. I feel like you're connecting to your career or finances or something that's gonna make you stand out in the world. Um, you know, again, so there could be a person and I do feel, and like I said, I do feel like some of you have your, you do have your eye on a person here, um, but it's like, you're not sure what they are. Um, I feel like they, uh, personally, just looking at this reading, I feel like they are the King of Pentacles. They are not the Knight of Wands. Uh, they might have some, you know, they might have some traits that make you think that they're a Knight of Wands. Like they might be very attractive or, you know, who the hell knows what, but um, I feel like you should go for it here, Virgo. It looks good if it's love. With the Judgment card, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick success. Uh, I also feel like there is communication coming in, but this communication is coming from yourself. You are guiding yourself right now. I feel like you are being guided by your intuition, and that's pretty much all I would listen to. With the Five of Cups, you have the Page of Swords. Mm, someone has their eye on you here going this way. I would be careful of a past person. I mean, you know, Mercury retrograde, uh, you know, I always say <laughs> during retrogrades, be careful. If you had a past person who was a liar, cheater, stealer, who was inconsistent, I definitely would be careful. 
you know, I would just block them. It's just that simple. With the uh, four of wands, you have the six of cups. If there is new love coming in, definitely a soulmate for you. Uh, again, I say if there, because for most of you, like I said, I don't necessarily feel it's like this month that you're going to be meeting this person. You know, it might be in the future, but if there is a person who happens to come in this month, it could be a soulmate. Uh, for the rest of you, I feel like you're more connecting to your inner child. It's like you're more playful. Remember I said that at the beginning. I think I said something about needing to be more playful. Or it's almost like you are stepping into something that is more fun, more playful for you. Three of Pentacles. She has these polka dots on her cloak here. Um, and, and polka dots in the tarot represent needing to have more fun. On the Seven of Swords, the the uh, guy, he normally has uh, polka dots on his cloak. So definitely there's like an element of fun here. Uh, next, we're going to look at messages from your future self. Here you go. You have this love card and this transmute card. If you are attracting love, I definitely feel it's someone who, like, they work together, they want to work together with you in, like, par as part of a community, or maybe they want to build a community, as in a bunch of little children, or something like that. <laughs> so it could be a person who's like that. Uh, I feel like they're probably a good teammate as well in life, but definitely love. Uh, I do get, like, a leader-type energy here. It's like, well, you know, um, you know, while you might, you know, I, I think you're working on a team together, but, um, you know, it's like, I'm wondering if either you or them, you know, take it how it resonates. It's like, you know, you could become part of their uh, their movement in life. Let's put it that way. Like, I feel like they, maybe you're attracting a person who has a very specific direction. And again, if you have a specific direction, then I feel like you're attracting a person who might be, you know, become part of your team as far as the direction that you want your life to go in. You know, take it how it resonates, like I said. But it's like someone is the captain here, <laughs> is what I'm getting. You know, it's like someone has a direction and life. And again, I feel like that's why it works, you know, it's because, you know, it's like, no, it's almost like you're attracting a person where there's like no fighting on like the direction of life. And, you know, again, if you f end up following their direction, you know, I feel like it's going to be, you know, very successful. And maybe that's why maybe you're willing to actually follow this person because they're very secure, or they make you feel secure, or they're successful, whatever the case may be. So, you know, take it how it resonates, but uh, there you go. Uh, I also feel that, by the way, if you are building a community, I'm telling you right now, Virgo, if I were you, I would be building a community and I'm not you and I am building a community. So there you go, <laughs> you know, take that for what it's worth. But what I would say is, I think that heart-based communities are going to be ridiculously successful, whether you build it for business or pleasure, it doesn't matter, right? Um, you know, you could be building a community of people where you just bounce ideas off each other, which I think is a great idea with Pluto moving into Aquarius, by the way. Um, it's like, you don't have to, and people always leave me comments. They're always like, I don't want to share my ideas. People steal my ideas. Like, that's not what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, maybe you're like building a business and you kind of just share ideas, not like your s trade secrets. I'm talking about like, you know, how to build a website or like whatever. It's like having that. So I don't like, I, I'm, I'm just done explaining every little thing and if you don't understand that then I don't know I'm just going to ban you but what I would say is again for the people that are smart that work together in a community that understand what I'm talking about here you go there's like a ridiculous amount of success coming in for you here you have the knight of wands again with this knight of wands and this king of pentacles I really feel some of you could be attracting a person where it's like you're not sure you're not, you know, you don't want to repeat a mistake. I feel like your future self, again, is saying that this person is the King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus that you are attracting here, Virgo, but take how it resonates. Uh, it could be any sign. I feel like it's someone very secure, very stable. I, do, I feel like this person has a lot of potential as well. Um, you know, I think it's always a bad idea to get into a relationship with a person that's like based off of potential because then you're entering into the relationship with expectations that they're going to become something, right? Um, but it, this is different. You know, I kind of feel like this person, they already have like, you know, some some evidence. <laughs> they already have some proof that they're kind of like heading in the right direction in life. I hope that makes sense. Uh, this could also be you, Virgo. I also feel, again, some of you, this might not be love. It's like you might have some ideas, Ace of Pentacles, for a new direction in your business or your career. And I would, again, pay attention to the evidence. I pretty much say this to everyone because of Pluto and Aquarius. There's something there. This is Chris's crappy astrology, by the way, not accurate astrology, but there's something there I keep getting with Pluto and Aquarius that it's like, I think there's going to be evidence. We need to pay attention to the evidence, you know, basically. So if you're thinking about moving your direction, in a new direction, uh, your business in a new direction, I think there'll be a lot of evidence that's going to work. And, you know, I would pay attention to that here. Same thing with this person. It's like, um, I, and, and again, like I said, I feel like they could be very attractive or maybe you're worried that they're a player or something, but I feel like they're not. And again, trust the evidence, plain and simple. 
you have the nine of swords um nine of swords i do feel you're like fearing repeating some sort of mistake i don't think that you will and i feel like your future self is saying like uh get out of your head right <laughs> the nine of swords it to me sometimes is like a card of needing to happen to life as well you know sometimes i think the nine of swords can represent a period of life where life is just happening to us we are not happening to life we are not the immovable force and this basically just says you know there are certain things that you could take more more control over that will make you feel better. And I feel like your future self is encouraging that. It's like, even if you have like bills that you can't pay, for example, it's like, um, you never know. We could be under entering into a financial collapse, right? Number one. <laughs> Number two, uh, what I would say here is that because of the financial situation, you might be able to negotiate, but you know, your debts with uh, credit card companies or whatever the case may be. But if you don't open your mouth and you don't do it, um, then nothing is going to happen. Again, I always get comments of people that are like, if that doesn't work, negotiate. I'm like, I, I know plenty of people that have negotiated the debts. Like, it works. <laughs> and also, just saying that it doesn't work and not trying it isn't going to do anything for you. The Nine of Swords is about taking control. You know, really, uh, I w people always tell me how bad, you know, Ten of Swords is or Nine of Swords. I'm like, no, tarot isn't good or bad. Tarot says, okay, you could be in this situation. This is how you control it. This is how you take advantage of it. This is how you work with it, right? Um, there are plenty of readers that will tell you that, that, you know, I call them prison sentence tarot readers, where they tell you what your prison sentence is and you just suffer, right? And so... Uh, again, not criticizing anyone here, but you know that's not the point of tarot. So what I would say here is that the Nine of Swords is kind of like a card that says you can get out of your situation by taking control. Yes, maybe you have to negotiate a debt, or maybe if you're in a round round situation with a person that isn't going anywhere, maybe you have to do the uncomfortable thing and leave, but that's where true power in life is, right? Just sitting around crying, worrying about it, that doesn't help. With the Nine of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Yep, definitely increasing your resources. If you're thinking about traveling for money, by the way, I'm getting like if you're traveling, um, moving for money, any of that, really good. With the, um, and, and by the way, divine counterparts right here, king and queen of pentacles. So definitely true love coming in for you. With the king of pentacles, you have the five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Like what a difference. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, I feel like there could be a person that you're interested in and I feel like you don't realize like how much is there. Like, I'm not saying you see this person as a five of pentacles, but it's like maybe, I feel like you just don't maybe understand the depth. So again, if you're interested in a person, but you're like a little bit unsure, I would say it'd be a good time to maybe take that person on a date. Cause I feel like you're gonna discover some like freaking hidden treasure here is what I would say to you. It's like, sometimes I think we meet a person where like, how the hell is this person single? Like what's wrong with them, right? <laughs> I almost get that feeling here where you could be attracting a person who's very attractive, right? And you could be wondering like, how is this person single? But it's like, maybe because they're waiting for you you. So, you know, like, don't question this is kind of like what I'm getting here. The other thing I'm getting is that they might be low key rich, you know, uh, five of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. Not that money matters, but I'm just saying like, you know, it's like you might see them one way, but they're actually another. The other thing I'm getting is, again, some of you could have recently been left out in the cold in a relationship. Eight of pentacles saying you're focused on your work. And I feel like that's fine, too. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Page of Cups, uh, everything we talked about. Definitely a new connection coming in for you for those of you that want love. And, you know, again, I feel like it'll be really, really good for you. So uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes. You have this camel. It says persevere and you will overcome. Yeah, definitely a time for you to keep pushing nine of swords. I was kind of getting a message on that nine of swords of like perseverance or, you know, pushing through. So that's what I would do there. Uh, next, you have this bowl. It says plenty of material things. I mean, there's definitely an increase in your material abundance here for sure. Now I have the hiccups. You have this fair woman. It says dealings with relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And you have this carrot. It says opportunity and windfall. Some of you uh, could be getting an opportunity through a person. And again, I always say I don't attach gender to these general readings, but you know, it could be a woman. You know, uh, I also feel there. This could just be you getting some sort of opportunity. Uh, next, you have this success card. We see a lot of success in this reading. And uh, finally, you have this cup card. It says you should have accept valid criticism. Um, you know, <laughs> I think that's always true. There could be people that are criticizing you. It could be valid criticism. But at the same time, again, remember what I was saying earlier. It's almost like you were a part of a community and feel like you got stabbed in the back. Maybe it was just a lesson to teach you like what valid criticism is and what like false criticism is. You know, I kind of get that energy here. But uh, I like this reading. I love where this is going. I love where all your readings are going. Again, Threads of Fate is launching three new decks. The link is down below. Like I said, I, I do have a business relationship with them. But uh, this looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.